NIPT has other advantages. It makes things easier for patients. All they need to do is one blood test, ideally early for the patients, so they know much more earlier and have their options at an earlier time in pregnancy. The Verify test only requires a single blood draw, one tube. Um, the blood is drawn, um, it's sent to the laboratory, and um, four to five days later, a week later, uh, they're gonna have the results that says there's either trisomy 21, 18, 13, present or absent, um, or the sex chromosomes could be a boy or a girl, Y is seen or not seen, uh, or there may be other sex chromosomal abnormalities. Um, so in a very short period of time, even before 12 weeks gestation, if they draw to 10 weeks, they're gonna have as almost, almost as much information I was able to give after an invasive test or an amnio or a CVS. It's safer than an amniocentesis or CVS. It provides information earlier to patients. I think genetic counseling plays an important role in the prenatal care. I think patients need to know what the test can do and what it can't do. Patients need to know what the false positives and the false negative rate. Fortunately for NIPT, the false negative rate is extremely low. The false positive rate, lower than any other screening test that we have. I think if they understand that, that is very valuable. In addition, they need to know that it doesn't do everything that an amniocentesis can do or a CVS can do. If patients understand what it can do and are fully informed, they can accept using NIPT in place of invasive testing. Thank you.